God be the glory. And the great things that he has done. And the great things that God has done defiles the American public school system. You see, the American public school system teaches that you came from palm scum. You came from fish. That's not the biblical account. We came and were created by God. Now, you can be a monkey's uncle of evolution. Or you can be a child of God through Jesus Christ, but things were created by God by the creator. If Charlie Darwin never put faith and trust in Jesus, Charlie Darwin is in hell today regretting what he taught and what his name is affixed to. You see, the biblical truth is it didn't start with a Big Bang. It goes out in a Big Bang. Your Mother Earth one day is going to burn up with fervent heat and flames with the heavens. It's no sense in saving the whales. They will die. And they will become shark food. And animals do not have a soul that lives on. When an animal dies, it goes back to the earth, boom, dead, no doggy heaven, no kitty cat heaven. Dogs and cats don't go to heaven, they're unclean animals. But a living soul of a man that when God breathed into man that had a soul and had a body, man became a living soul. And inside of human beings, man, there's an eternal soul that will live forever. Unlike kitty cats, mammals, crabs, lobsters, which defiles reincarnation. Reincarnation is a heresy. It's a lie. Evolution is a lie. It's a heresy. That God, our creator, our almighty God, Jehovah, that made everything that is seen and unseen, God made the rocks, God made the trees, God made it all. God made the atom and the air that's breathing and the wind that we feel. It is made by God as we are made by God. And no, we are not made in the image of God. Adam was made in the image of God. Genesis chapter 5 says man was made in the image of Adam. Talk about greed as the worst sin. That's where we are. That as in Adam died, all die. We are made sinners because Adam sinned. God told Adam of the tree, of the fruit, of the knowledge of good and evil, don't, do not eat of that fruit, lest ye die. And we know or should know the story that Adam and Eve ate of that fruit of that tree and we became sinners. Sin came upon us through our grandparents. And that you can thank Adam and Eve having a preacher preach to you Saturday the gospel. Because had Adam and Eve not disobeyed God, 
and had not eaten that fruit that God told them not to eat, we would not need Calvary. We would not need the gospel. We would be still in the garden atmosphere with no curse and no sin. Had Adam and Eve never eaten that fruit. But as man is prone to rebel of what God says not to do, Adam did what, what God told him not to do. God said, don't eat that fruit. Adam ate the fruit. We are now sinners. And the wages of sin is death. And the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, came into the world to seek that which is lost, the Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Because Adam sinned. And here we are in the great progress of man. The great scientific man, the great ape, and we preach for a man to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, something to do, and you won't do. Now God told Adam, don't eat the fruit. Adam ate the fruit, rebellion. Today the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will not. It's still rebellion. You are not doing what God has told you to do. 4,000 plus years of man's progress and you are still rebelling against the word of God. Congratulations. And what you get for rebelling against God is you are marked as a sinner and the wages of sin is death and if you die in your sin, you'll go to hell. That's your progress. That's the great ape that you are. Though evolution is a lie. And what you're seeing played out today, the violence, is the American public school system teaching your children how to shoot each other, how to kill each other. That's the survival of the fittest. What is being played out in America today is what you've been teaching in America today. You took God out of the schools, you took the Bible out of schools, you won't discipline your children, you won't chasten your children, you put in Dr. Spock rather than Jesus Christ, and you are now reaping in this country what you have been sowing. Ungodly school education. And your only hope is the blessed hope of Jesus Christ to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. And let me tell you about the current conditions of the world. It's only going to get worse. I'm telling you right now, after the rapture, you got seven years of tribulation. Jacob's trouble. You have a worldwide ruler. For three and a half years, it's going to be kind of handy dandy, nice and peaceful. The last three and a half years will be your hell on earth by Satan himself, the Antichrist. And the tribulation period, Jacob's trouble has nothing to do with you Gentiles. <clears throat> The law will be back. Law and faith, and you still have to believe in Jesus. But you got to do the law too once the church is gone. You got to fulfill that law and you got to go over to the temple in Jerusalem. I know it's not there, it will be there. Why not just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ right now today? Put your faith and trust in Jesus. And then the mark 
the Antichrist, the tribulation period, and all that, you will not have to worry about. Christ will take you out before the tribulation. The church does not go through the tribulation. You can be saved. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is wrought in Jesus Christ alone. And nothing else. There is a hell for those that reject Jesus. Jesus said, depart from me workers of iniquity, I never knew you. And the only way to know Jesus and Jesus to be known by you that with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation, and they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's salvation. And I said salvation without a church, a salvation without works, a salvation without baptism, a salvation without anything, but Jesus. And only by Jesus Christ. You can't have Jesus and a little this. And you can't have a little this with Jesus. You got to have all through Jesus Christ. It's all by Jesus or it's none at all. Jesus said he is the way. The truth. And the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that simple. Jesus tells the Christians to go into the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's the gospel. Well, preacher, I'm going to church Sunday morning. You may not make it to Sunday morning. You might die Saturday afternoon. You may die Saturday night. You may die in a car accident on the way to church Sunday morning. You may get to church today, up close, COVID-19. How about, again, over and over, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's how to be saved. That's God's plan. 